Gaming can be an art form, using its gameplay, sound design, art, and many other factors to convey complex emotions and concepts in a way that not many other styles of art can do. One such game that makes usage of this complex artistic decisions and qualities of gaming is Far Changing Tides. This new title by Akamotive and Frontier Foundry was released on March 1st, 2022 for PlayStation, Switch, Epic, Steam, and Xbox Game Pass. This title follows the adventures of a child living in a post-apocalyptic world where the rising sea levels and earthquakes have put an end to humanity. Specifically for the sake of this video, I'd like to focus on the artistic qualities of this game's opening, to use it as an example as to how gaming can be used in an art form, and more so, what story can be told through this masterly crafted piece. Loading into the world of Far Changing Tides, you are immediately met with the bleak reality of this story. Spawning in as a child who sinks into the water that had consumed the world, no brief text introduction introduces you to this story, nor does any dialogue provide the context as to how we even got here, an important factor which I will be coming back to later. But even from the first moment as you plunge into the waves which have destroyed society, the color and tone of this game is a signature gray, with even the blue waters having a touch of this melancholy of color. When you're surfacing, the sky is filled with clouds, and around you the terrain is that of destroyed city, which is dominated by dull hues and strong scents of gray. As you continue ahead, the camera zooms out, your character becoming just a small portion of the screen, because the focus isn't on you, the player, or the child in question, but rather the decimated and reduced nature of society itself, which now lays in shambles beneath the waves. As you navigate further and you solve puzzles and make your way farther into this unfamiliar world, there is no dialogue anywhere to greet you, nor any text in any buildings to bestow the unfortunate state of how this world came to be. And it is that, combined with the focus on the tragedy and destruction, that the introduction provides the true meaning of what it is trying to say. Because it matters not how the specific society or world was destroyed, nor not how the specific child survived and their specific backstory. What matters is the inevitability of destruction that looms around the corner should humanity not change its course. For the paintings of gray and melancholy show nature's uncaring attitude towards our existence, for it will exist when we are gone, and it will not show any care when we do so. Our character's limited occupation of the screen shows the character is much like the player, not the main story, but rather just a spectator of this cruel reality. The lack of characterization is meant to let us place ourselves in this world's shoes, but this is not any child, but perhaps maybe the child of the future or the children of the future, which we will lose if we let the course continue as is. So it is by using the art which is gaming that the game was able to communicate such strong messages and invoke such strong emotions and storytelling without a single line of dialogue or any lore books. That's all I got for you today. I hope you guys enjoyed this short little video and I really do enjoy this game and if you have spare time I would highly suggest you give it a check out. This has been Christopher Beast and I hope to see you all next time.